Hi everybody, uh, today we thought we'd take you around our new demonstrator. Uh, it's a vehicle behind me here, so it's the California Ocean. Uh, so I've gone for the same colour again, so I've gone for the, the green, bay leaf green and the white in the two-tone. Uh, that's there. We thought we'd show you around it today and I've just got a few little bits as well to update you uh, on things on the ocean as well inside, uh, things that have changed slightly as well. So. seen the colour before because our previous demonstration was the same one. Uh, I do like this combination so we've got the bay leaf green and the candy white. Uh, one of the options that we've gone for uh, on this particular one this time is uh, we've got the chrome pack still which is down the side here and it's worth pointing out with the chrome pack that things have changed slightly so uh, this black strip on the on the B pillar is actually now part of the chrome pack uh, so if you don't order the chrome pack this would now just be white uh, on a normal vehicle. Uh, just bear that in mind if you do want the black strip that's on here. Uh, I quite like, I think it quite, looks quite nice with the vehicle because it goes through, but it's only available as part of the, uh, part of the chrome pack now. Uh, that's there. Uh, so coming around to the back, uh, we stuck with the standard alloy wheels on this model. It's here. As always, I've ordered it with the, uh, the comfort mattress. I will just very quickly point out, because somebody will put a comment on, so save somebody will put a comment on, but uh, yes, this is a bin that goes in the vehicle as well. I've had people ask me about this um, before when they've been into the showroom, so these bins, uh, I get these from the, I think it's from the Netherlands, I think, it's, uh, there's a, an online shop, which we'll put in the, we'll put in the notes below uh, exactly which one it is, uh, something like vwcampershop.nl. Um, um, as you know, I've mentioned it before, obviously there's a lot of stuff you can get from Camper Fantastic. They do a full range of brand up things and things like that as well, but uh, uh, this isn't something they do, but it's something you can get from there. And it's obviously moulded to the vehicle. I think the last time I bought one it was about €25, Euros, so it's a lot of money for a bin, but it, it does uh, fit in quite nicely. Uh, so standard setup in the back. So the only other extra I've got on this is the Discover Pro uh, media system. I'm just going to jump in now and I'm just going to talk to you very quickly about that as well. If you've seen some of the other videos I've done where I've talked about options and things like that, uh, obviously the Navigation Pro system was something which uh, I always said I thought was a really, really good option. Uh, now things have changed slightly from there. I'm not saying it's not a good option. I think it is. It still looks very sleek on the front because you've got no buttons at all that's here as well. Um, but one of the main reasons why uh, I always quite liked it from on there is because it goes very well with digital cockpits. Uh, and what I mean by that is, is that uh, obviously you can have your whole screen can be your satellite navigation with this particular, uh, with the Pro version. Uh, now for model year 21, so if you're ordering one from now or it's arriving, because uh, this is model year 21 that's, that's here now, uh, is actually on the standard navigation screen, does exactly the same thing. So uh, on the standard navigation that you get with the vehicle, uh, you can create your whole of your uh, digital cockpit can become the uh, satellite navigation system, which is what uh, originally was why one of the reasons why I thought it was you know a lot better to uh, to get that upgrade so so that's your normal setup uh, and is as you used to have it with the standard navigation system uh, and then now if you press the button the view button and you go through the different views uh, obviously it will show the whole of the dash will be on there as well and that applies to both vehicles that applies to uh, whether you've got the pro version and you've upgraded to it, or whether you've got the standard version as well uh, I think it's still a good upgrade, but obviously, is it something I'm going to order on every vehicle? I'm probably not going to order it on every vehicle as much as I do now. As I said, it does have the, uh, the difference being that the button's on the side, uh, and, and obviously this is a slightly bigger screen as well. Uh, I do think it looks uh, nice on the dash, but uh, as again, there's always a cost to these things, so uh, it's about £660, I think, for the, uh, uh, to upgrade to the, uh, the Pro version. Uh, I'd like to see what you think, whether it's um, from on there, so you're getting a slightly bigger screen and you're getting no buttons on it. It's also worth noting as well at this point is that Volkswagen do occasionally change the standard specifications uh, of vehicle um, as they're going through different times 
for one reason or another uh, through the production lineup. So for example, um, I've recently done a video on how the interior monitoring and the alarm system works on the vehicle uh, and literally a week or two weeks after that, a vehicle arrived that didn't have the button on the B pillar. So there's a button on the B pillar. Uh, on this particular one, it's, it's still got it, uh, which allows you to press that button and shut the doors and it turns off the internal monitoring system. Uh, well, they've now taken that button away now uh, on new vehicles that are being built and it's actually done all off the uh, off the head unit, so off your stereo, you go in and you click a button and that turns it off as well. So obviously these things are things that we've got updated as they go along. Uh, it's a slight change of specification in the fact that um, uh, of where something's located, uh, but you're still getting that standard specification. So they're not actually changing the spec, uh, they're just changing where a button might be or something like that. And uh, obviously when we notice those things, uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you know as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it was just a very quick look at our new demonstrator that's behind me and, uh, and just to give you a bit more of information as well about some of the newer vehicles that are coming through as well. So uh, if you enjoyed today's video, if you give us a thumbs up, give us a like, that'd be great, much appreciated. Uh, if you don't subscribe, uh, please subscribe and tick that notification bell and we'll see you next time.